Hello everyone and happy Mother's Day to all our mothers. I hope we will all take the time and effort to make our mothers feel special on this particular day. Not that we don't do it on any other day, but on this particular day when everyone's mom is taken out and put on a pedestal, I hope we also find the time to do likewise. Now, as a Balande Libe Langa, we have to ask, why has Mother's Day been placed on the second Sunday from the cross quarter day? Remember, in the Northern Hemisphere, they have crossed over into summer. Please have a listen on the next video. I'm also going to link there what is a cross quarter day. I've also linked there the reason behind Labor Day or May Day which also ties into why Mother's Day has been placed at this particular time for the Northern Hemisphere. And then finally, I cover where we Southerners should place our version of Mother's Day. Bring a pen and paper. Let's get into it. Ever wonder why Mother's Day is placed on the second Sunday from uh, the holiday of May Day? It's placed specifically on the second Sunday from the cross quarter day. The cross quarter day being uh, the midpoint or the midpointish way between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. Why is Mother's Day placed on the second Sunday from the beginning of summer for the Northern Hemisphere? Why have so many cultures and religions placed the start of the year at this point, example being uh, the Muslims who I believe have just started uh, their spiritual year at the end of Eid. Eid meaning a feast or festival. Festival or festival, a feast to Baal. The BNV is interchangeable. Festival or a feast to Baal. All these holidays and alignments are based on celestial observations. Seek ye first the starry kingdom of God and everything else shall be added unto thee. If you seek the starry kingdom, if you understand what's happening up there, then all the holidays, all the rituals, all the spiritual foundations that man has put in place will make sense. It will begin to make sense. So Mother's Day is at this point because it is a remnant from the time when uh, the background constellation at this time of year was the cow Taurus. Kiawu Ingomo. El Toro. Ingomo Yezulu the golden calf of Aaron. There was a time when in the Northern Hemisphere, if you looked east, just before sunrise, the background constellation would have been the motherly bull. It would have been Brahmi, our mommy. Horus now is associated with the feminine, qualities of nurture and sustenance, umawetu. The days become warmer when she appears. Her appearance brings with it the early rains. Kimujaji Uyinkomo emanzi ngumvuleni Umnisi wemvula Umnisi uchehova nisi When she appeared to Abraham Brahma Abraham she says, I am El Shaddai, the Lord with many teats. Gingu Jehovah onamabele, or Gingu Jehovah bubele. I am the Baal, or Baal, the God who sustains me. Brahmi, the God who supplies my needs. The God whose appearance quickens the early harvest, which will be ready in the Northern Hemisphere in a few weeks' time into June. She is Umabele Umabele Mate Angelisa Ingane Inga Peshea Kumfula. But 
All this is for the Northern Hemisphere. That's for the North. Our mother, in the Southern Hemisphere now, she appears in November, around the time when the Pleiades appear and the Queen Judge Mujaji does her rainmaking ritual. For us in the Southern Hemisphere, the Tauren Bull appears around November, appearing again with those early rains that prepare the early harvest of December. She is Umnisi Jehovah Nisi Wemvula at that time of year in the Southern Hemisphere. But now to us, we see her in the evening. We don't see her at sunrise, we see her in the evening. That's when we see El Shaddai in Omo Yezul. Just to backtrack a bit, in August we celebrate our daughters. In November we, we should be celebrating our mothers. And then in December, celebrate our fathers as the sun is in its highest position. As the northerners are going to do on, um, on Father's Day, which is always year in, year out, a day or two before the summer solstice the 21st of June. There's a trinity there. It's the father on solstice, the mother on the second day of May, and the son on the lamb at Good Friday, or at Good Sunday, the first Sunday after the equinox full moon. And of course, if you're using uh, the Egyptian system, at the summer solstice, that is where you place a heru, who calls the Oluma Pigo Amshope, the eagle that can fly the highest. That's a, a symbol for the sun in its highest position. And then you place Obama or Osiris or Asa, Asa, Owe Silisa, Osiris. R and L is interchangeable in Zulu, so it is Owe Silisa, Osiris. Him you would place in the spring. That is why the Egyptians depict him white. And the Hebrews, that is where in spring they place uh, the most high whose hair is white as wool. Asa is clad in white. The most high has hair as white as wool, pointing to the Aryan lamb. The lamb Aries is where Mother's Day comes from. And so I do say to you guys, Happy Mother's Day. 